Okay, transitioning here, video clip to video clip. So, so the power blocks change fishing, they're, they're hydraulic. Now you're out, able to go out and cape haul, you can pull your net in quickly, you don't need a huge manpower to do it. Um, so now there's power blocks. So now I got a picture up of your dad's boat, the Mormon. So, so talk about now what's, how this is different now, or, or about this boat, and about what time period it was. Because you said 1958, it became a state. Yeah, I said Last 63, week. but I'm, yep. you meant, I meant 58. Yeah. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> the difference between the two boats is the, the Sea Scout was a traditional, at the time when I was a kid, that was a traditional kind of a boat. It had a trunk cabin. That's the cabin up front. And then it had a little, a little cabin at the back of the trunk cabin, which was where you drove the boat from. That was where the main window was that you looked out, and that was where you drove the boat. But, but now that you're gonna use this big boat for seining, you're stuck in that cabin, and seining required you to be out where you could see jumpers and maybe even look down in the water and see before, just where you're gonna hit a rock. So, so then, and then and this picture shows, this is uh, Dave LeClaire built this commercial marine in Seattle in Ballard right here is where this picture was taken. This brand spanking new boat and I was about 15 years old, so whatever year that was in. While you're on that, so you mentioned LeClaire built the first boat that had a flying bridge like that, well, is that right? as far as I know, okay. as far as I know, this, this, we went from the trunk cabin to now, the, but, now you see on this boat, you see a, a flying bridge and a steering station that's up on the top. And this is about but, 1960? But to get there, we started out with uh, building a, a little pipe frame on the top of the old Sea Scout, on the top of that little cabin. And then the pipe frame, uh, some guy came along and says, hey, if I stretch a tarp around this pipe, I'll be able to be out of the wind. And then some other guy, and I still remember the first one I saw, put a piece of plywood up, slightly angled forward in the very center, and found out that the wind would go up over the plywood and go over your head when you're sitting on the bench. So you just stick your head around the boat. top and stuff. Yeah, like it, just, it was it just it was a great windbreak, and so the, then suddenly this this pipe frame with a tarp stretched around it became made out of solid plywood. And it was like, what a novel idea that is! And they built it all, and they sloped at the back, made it look kind of good. And that's what you're looking at right here. And this is Leclerc, the first guy you knew. You're looking at this. The, the trunk cabin, which now has a flying bridge on top of it instead of a little a little. My dad would have called it something else, an outhouse on the back. And then, uh, but well, it wasn't really, but, okay. but it looked like one. Okay. Anyway, so all right, so that was the evolution. So the pipes and the tarps turned into that. Got it. 